Today's topic is to find the mean, median, and the mode without using an inbuilt function. Let's start from the first that is main. First, we are going to initialize our list, and after that, we are going to sum all the elements in the list, and we are after that we are going to divide it with the length of the our list, and that's how we get the mean. Now here we have used the round method, which is a math function. That means I need the answer of the mean in after the decibels with the three digits. So that's why I use round mean comma three. Now coming towards the median, first we are going to initialize our list. After that we are going to sort our list, <coughs> and then we are finding the positions. And after that we are calculating the median for it. That if the length of our list is odd, then we need to find the first and the second position of our median. And after that, we are going to take the average of them, and that's how we get the median. If it is even, then we just need to find the median of it. That means the divided by two. Now, what this double slashes means that we need to divide it with an integral result that means we are going to take the result in the form of an integer not in the form of as an float that means it's going to remove all those decimals from the point in our result and we are going to get only the first position that is the integer rather than the float and after that, in the second position, we are going to subtract it. That means if the length is here is nine, right? Then we are we are will be getting the fourth element and the third element. And that's how after that we are going to find the median by taking the average of the first and the second position. And in the even, we just need to half it out. And that's how we get a median. Now coming towards the third, that is the mode. What we are going to do over here is we are going to import a library named the counter. We need to find the mode which is having highest occurrences, right? So first we are importing the counter. After that, we are initializing our list. So what this counter is going to do is it's going to make a dictionary which consisting the key as the element in the list and the values will be the occurrences of each and every items of it. So we are replacing the dictionary name in the X and we are making it into a dictionary there and then we are making it in dictionary and storing it in the value of dictionary one. After that we are printing the dictionary and now to find the element that is we are going to have the max method to use to find the maximum value in our dictionary and after that in the mode we are going to find that for the number and for the repeater and the dictionary item that is the key and the value if the value is equals to the maximum value which we had find in the mag using the max function then we are going to store that value in the mode that is it's going to be our mode then we are having a condition that if the length of that particular mode is equals to the length which is given in the list then the no mode is in the list because that that how it's going to be an error and that's how we cannot find the mode or in our list else we are going to print our mode as you can see it over here our list consists of 1 19 5 2 9 11 15 and the 9 so we get the 9 which have in the highest occurrence compared to the other that's how we get the mode as a 9.